guys, today's video is Bob. I feel like it's number six or seven. I kind of lost track of all the numbers, but regardless, most of these tips are regarding skincare in today's video, and I'm going to try and make it much shorter than my usual ones. So let's just jump right into it. Cellulite is just poor circulation at your skin's surface. That's why they say that dry brushing helps with reducing cellulite. Speaking of which, I do have a deets video coming up on all about dry brushing and coconut oil because the two do relate in reducing cellulite. You shouldn't blindly trust any skincare products or brands that claim that a certain product is organic because quite frankly, the term is meaningless in the cosmetic industry. The FDA doesn't technically prosecute brands or companies against labeling something as organic when really it's not, which is always great. If you come across a product that has the label anti-inflammatory, basically that product is great for anyone who has redness, bumps, dry skin, or sensitive skin, or any type of swelling. That product is going to work amazing on those types of skin conditions. Additionally, the plant Calendula, which actually is contained in some of my products, is high in its anti-inflammatory agents and index, so it's great for your skin overall. When it comes to your skincare regimen, when you're applying products to your skin, basically they should go from the most watery to the least watery. And that's because it just makes sense as far as how the skin is going to penetrate those products. So you really want to use a really thick moisturizer at the very end because obviously it's the least watery. And initially you want to cleanse your skin and then you want to apply a serum and then a toner and then a moisturizer. So that's usually the order that people follow and most skincare specialists recommend. When it comes to your skincare regimen, whenever you're applying anything to your skin or say you're exfoliating your skin, whatever it may be, be sure to do so in circular motions because that includes increases the circulation to your skin, hence the blood flow, hence the bright glow that you get to your skin by doing so. Toners are what tend to close up your pores after you've washed your face, and that's why they say to use toners after you've cleansed your face but right before a moisturizer. Try avoiding exposure of your skincare products to oxygen, as impossible as that sounds, because quite frankly, once the products get exposed to oxygen or for a prolonged period of time that tends to reduce their beneficial ingredients and in turn causes them to expire a lot sooner. So if you can, try to make sure they're always sealed as tight as possible and there's no way for oxygen to be getting into them. If you want to tell when your lotion is expired, try to shake it and see if it sloshes around like salad dressing. If it is, then it's not thick enough and it's most likely expired. As far as product ingredients are concerned, they're always listed from most concentrated to least concentrated. However, if a company has a patent on the ingredients in a product, then they don't have to list them that way. So for those of you who are wary of the ingredients in the certain products that you use on your skin, that's just a little information for you guys. The cost of a product has less to do with the product itself and more so with its fancy packaging. So if someone is telling you they're using like a $200 face cream, that doesn't necessarily mean they're getting it from like the Dead Sea with minerals in it that you can't get from anywhere else. It might just be the packaging. So generally speaking, just because something's more expensive doesn't necessarily mean it's much better for you. So that was Bob for today. Like I said, it was very short and generalized information about your skin. Besides that, I will be having another Bob coming up this month for you guys with other tips besides skincare. I just felt like I needed to share those quick tips with any of those who are looking for a new skincare regimen because it is the winter and your skin tends to get a lot drier and most people tend to change their skincare regimen as a whole. So I felt those were tips that were beneficial for some of you. And uh, yeah, besides that, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.